it looks like our clock has rolled over to 10 p.m. So we're ready to get started this Sunday night. I can't believe the weekend is already over. I'm so bummed about that. It just seems like, I don't know, somehow it seems, I guess it has to do with aging, right? But it just seems like the weekends get shorter and shorter and shorter all the time. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have to do with aging. Maybe I just uh, like the weekend too much. Anyway, we have got just a couple of things to open tonight, but a little bit of information to go over before we can get started with that. First up, you'll see there is a notation about my feedback, and that, guys, is there uh, just because I get asked that question a lot. So it's just to let everyone know that my feedback is 100% automated on eBay. So what that means to you is that you don't have to wait on me to get caught up. As soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you should instantly get it in return, thanks to the wonders of automation. The next thing that you see there, and actually the most important part, is uh, to say thanks to everyone. I have a lot of fun doing these breaks. I think it's a blast, and I always look forward to them. And the way, you know, the reason I can do that is because uh, you guys and gals are nice enough to bid and break with me and come in and chat with me and hang out and keep me company. So I appreciate you being here, and uh, hopefully we're going to pull something good for you tonight if you're in the break. And if you're just hanging out watching, well, then then uh, jump in and chat, right? Come keep me company. What you see here is uh, some information about shipping for tonight's breaks, okay? So there's two different shipping schedules you'll notice there, and that is simply because free shipping breaks go out on a little bit different kind of schedule than the paid shipping breaks. And they generally go out six or seven days after an auction, and sometimes a little bit sooner uh, if I have time or if you have another package going in the interim. And so I'm projecting Friday for our batting helmet to get out the door. And our paid shipping break tonight, which is Stadium Club Baseball, I'm projecting that to ship on Wednesday. If I can get that out to you faster than Wednesday uh, on the Stadium Club, of course I will. But just kind of plan on Wednesday and uh, be pleasantly surprised if I manage to accomplish it sooner than that. The last thing you need to know on this page does not apply to Stadium Club because every team will pull cards in Stadium Club, but it does apply to the autograph batting helmet, and that is consolation cards. So if your team is not the team that's pulled in the batting helmet break, you are still entitled to a consolation card for your team. It can be from any year and any series, and uh, typically I'm going to send that with your next package. Like the next time you pull a card uh, or you pull a piece of memorabilia, I would simply look back through the prior 90-day period. It's tracked for a rolling 90-day period. And I would see what teams you had at other points in time where you didn't hit anything. And then gather up all of those consolation cards and put them together and send them out in that one package. If you don't want to wait, if you'd rather have it sent to you... Um, by itself, plain white envelope, stamp kind of thing, just uh, let me know. Send me a message on eBay and I'll be happy to work with you to get that taken care of. What we are looking at right now, this is uh, a list of breaks that are already on eBay. So this is stuff that's already posted, available for bidding, that we're going to be breaking over the course of the next five days. So I do generally list new things almost every night and they typically run for five days. So that's kind of how we roll around here. So tomorrow night we're going to open a half case of Archive Signature Series Active Player Edition. Please note that those are in fact loose boxes and that's because that's how I received them. Uh, one of the places would not allocate me a full case but they did allocate me a half case so there you go. And that's what we're going to break. We've already broken the full case that I that I got from someone else. We will also open another case of Inception, a half case of Gold Standard. That will be the beginning of a new 12 box case. So we'll crack that case open and as normal we would number all 12 on the end, use random to decide which six, etc. And then a full case of Valiant Football. So tomorrow night's going to be busy. Tuesday night we have an autograph mini helmet, an autograph football jersey, a couple of boxes of 14 translucent football. Uh, some 2011 Prime Signatures football in a half case break, and the back half of this Stadium Club. 
Okay, so we'll finish up the case that we're going to start tonight on Stadium Club. We'll finish up on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, we got a lot of stuff coming out Wednesday. It is Spectra Basketball, Allen and Genter Baseball, and Optic Baseball. We're going to break Spectra and Allen and Genter, uh, Spectra in a full case, Allen and Genter in a half, the night they come out on Wednesday night. We're going to hold Optic and break it on Thursday night for the first time. So Thursday night, we'll do an autographed full-size helmet, a second case of Spectra, and a first case, and it will be a full case, of Optic Baseball. On Friday night, we'll do the back half of the gold standard case that we started uh, earlier in the week. We will do the last uh, case that I have of encased basketball, which is en route to me. And then a half case of Allen and Genter. So we're going to be pretty busy this upcoming week and on into the following week. But I think that's all the information we had to go over. We are ready now to get started tonight. So first up, 2018 Hit Parade Series 4, autographed batting helmet, break number 6. And of course, everything we're opening tonight ended on eBay tonight, Sunday night, the 15th of July. We typically break the night it ends, so uh, of course, here we go. Team names are on the left, winning bidders are across from it on the right-hand side. We did have uh, several orphan teams in here tonight. Those are all noted there with no bids buyback, just Pretty much exactly what it seems, guys uh, and gals. No bids at all on those teams in this break. So if something comes out for one of those teams, it just stays here with me. Otherwise, if it comes out for one of you, uh, well, you know what? It'll head your way about Friday, as we saw earlier. And the last piece of the puzzle, I took out autofocus. I manually set the focus. I am aware that it does take the background out of focus a little bit. And that is by design. So it's not your eyes playing tricks on you. It is me. Well, not playing tricks on you. Not me playing tricks on you. But I mean, me that causes it to go out of focus is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> now I've got a second to look here at chat. And I see that we have Gina and Dale and Greg and Chris and Bobby. Hi, guys. Gina said you got your <laughs> you got your consolation cards yesterday, but there was no Dan Marino autograph in them. Dag on it. Well, Gina, I'll have to try again next time on that one. <laughs> that stuff they use on there makes me crazy. It's like a cellophane. It's not even like a regular kind of plastic. It's I don't know. It's weird and it's loud and I don't like it, but there's a little advertising thing that's in there. So I just usually show you guys stuff like that. So you know that there's, you're not missing out on anything in other words, and I'm knocking, knocking stuff over, making a big mess. All right. Now that we have all the boxes and plastic out of the way, Let's see who our helmet is. Oh, I don't know who that is. There's a sticker in the edge of the bag that gives me the player's name. And uh, so I was just thinking, who is that? I can't think who that is. And yeah, I, sometimes they just don't hit me right away. This was, this was clearly one of those times. It is a helmet for the Giants, and it is Matt Williams. You can see there says five-time all-star Matt Williams for the San Francisco Giants. There's a little tri-star uh, authentication. It's kind of bent up, uh, but that's how it came out of there. And I guess, yeah, there's, of course, your MLB logo on the back, a tri-star uh, sticker on the back, an MLB uh, authentic uh, sticker there inside. And it looks like our San Francisco Giants have the hit tonight with Matt Williams on the batting helmet. So give me a second to get that back in its handy little carrying case. And then we're going to move right on to Stadium Club. Why can't I get this back in here? <laughs> I don't know. This little bag is not cooperating with me. Oh, I see what happened. All right, I got the strings all like crossed up. Good gracious. Whew. That's pretty
pretty bad when you can't get something just a helmet and a bag, isn't it? <laughs> so I don't know. That's that's usually something that would happen on a Monday, but yet here we are on Sunday. Here's our giant case of Stadium Club, which we'll open up here in a second. Let's put the spreadsheet uh, info up here one more time. And it's going to be for Stadium Club. And I gotta, I've got my spreadsheet on the wrong tabs tonight, so it's kind of freaking me out. Yeah, see, that's wrong because I'm on... Oh, that's not right either. What did I do? This is the one that's on the wrong tab. Whew, all right, hang on. Let's just try and fix that. Now maybe I'll be, now maybe we'll be back to, to good. Uh, so you probably saw this a second ago. If for some reason you did not, uh, the situation is this. I am projecting a Wednesday shipping date for Stadium Club Baseball. And if I can get it out to you faster than that, of course, I will happily do so. Uh, but just kind of plan on Wednesday. And everybody should pull something in this break because uh, there's tons and tons of cards in it. So lots and lots of cards. And we are right now getting ready for 2018 Stadium Club Baseball. This is a half case break. It's break number three. It is the start of a new case. It also, of course, ended tonight, the 15th of July on eBay. And here's how this will work since it is the beginning of a new case. I'm going to open it up and uh, did I say eight up there? Yes, good. Okay. I will open it up and take out all 16 boxes. I will number each of them on the end. Then I'll bring you along with me. We'll head over to random.org whereby we will type in or I will type in one through 16 and let random determine for us which eight boxes we open. Well, why can't I get that cut? Which eight boxes we open tonight versus which eight we will be opening in the next break. And this break has a lot of cards in it, okay? So it does, I just keep running into things tonight. So it does take a little while uh, for us to break Stadium Club. So you may as well get yourself a... Uh, a water or a soda or a snack or something because we're going to be settled in here for a bit getting through all of this tonight. Well, that's assuming I can even get it all out of the case. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Come on out of there, glass boxes. What are you doing to me? There we go. I mean, it's good that they don't put a lot of extra room in there so that our boxes don't move around but then yet sometimes it's not as handy when you're trying to actually get them out of the case well come on tell you what it has been just kind of one of those days like it hasn't been a bad day but it's just been one of those days where kind of like I can't quite get in my groove do you ever have days like that? I mean, it's not a bad day. It's not like anything terrible happened or anything like that. It's just you're just like a step behind where you would normally be. That's the kind of the day I've had, I think. So, <laughs> all right, let me move along with you over here to random.org. And let me get myself on the same page. And here we can manage to get ourselves... Uh, sorted out and figure out which boxes we're going to open first. Well, we know that's 10. It's typed in as 101, but it's really 10. Okay, I'll fix it because it's going to bug me. <laughs> it is, even though I know it's 10, it bugs me. So let's just fix it. All right, there's our 1 through 16. I will hit random a single time. First eight numbers that come up will be the eight boxes we open tonight. So it gives us 14, 10, 8, 1, 2, 15, 3, and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. Oh, I'm not going to remember this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 10, 14, 15. Is that right? I don't know. I better. All right. Let me get you back to the right view. And let me get myself... Over here where I can see this for a minute. One, two, three, and four. Okay, then eight. 
what else did I say? 10, 14, 15. All right, 10. I know I'm talking to myself, sort of. I know, I know. I'm trying to remember all these stinking numbers. Which, it seems like it would be easy. I get it. And it probably should be. But yet. But yet. There you have it. Let me get these other eight boxes back in their case. And then we're going to get ready uh, to start on this. Okay. So, in each of our boxes... We're going to be looking for two on-card autographs per box. And we're going to find a lot of parallels in here, too. Most of them are not going to be numbered, uh, but there might be a few that are. Chris said, don't send uh, the Falcons Consolation cards to me yet. I'm okay with getting it with my winning Braves in Inception tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, on the uh, Constellation cards, guys, again, uh, normally those are saved to go with your next package, right? So when you, if you don't hit something in a memorabilia break or whatever, typically those cards are just saved up and I keep an eye on them for 90 days. And then the next time you do pull a card or memorabilia or whatever the case might be, I just look back over the prior 90 days. It's a rolling 90-day period. And I gather up any and all consolation cards that you're due. And then they just ship out with that next package. So that is most often the way that it works. The only time it really varies from that is if it is in a paid shipping break. So like for instance, you know, sometimes you'll open a case of something like, uh, I don't know, for instance, encased basketball where even though it's got enough cards in it that every team could have a hit, sometimes teams don't get a hit. And in that case, if it's a paid shipping break, then your consolation cards would go out with the rest of the break because you, you know, paid for shipping. But on the memorabilia breaks and the breaks that are the free shipping, they're usually just saved up and they go out with the next package. So that's how that works. But it sounds like Chris is planning on uh, hitting Inception tomorrow night and walking off with some, probably, he's probably looking for some Aussie in there, right, tomorrow night? And we've had some pretty good luck, actually, pulling Aussie out of Inception along the way, here and there. Okay, so again, to uh, refresh here, we are looking for two on-card autographs in every box. The majority of our cards are going to have the... What, what is going on there? Okay, uh, I must have hit my camera. Because, <laughs> look at that, we're like, wait. We're like, I don't even realize it until I'm getting here trying to look at the cards going, wait a minute, <laughs> well, the cards are not even on the camera. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Um, so normally when you see the silver like this, that's just the standard base card version. Sometimes you're going to see that in red or in black. Uh, like here, for instance, is one in red. And again, those are generally not numbered, but they are parallels. The red is the most common, and there's black and a couple of others. But we'll find uh, some of those as we go along. And I tell you what, guys, these are going 100 different directions in these packs. And unless somebody objects... I tend to just kind of leave them whatever direction they're going because I'm, unless it's an insert or something numbered, I'm kind of a proponent of the less handling, the better in general. But if you feel differently and you do want each one of them flipped around uh, the proper way as we're scrolling through, just jump into chat and let me know and we'll get it done. All right. Our first hit of the evening is Santander for the Baltimore Orioles. Now I think I have the camera at a weird angle again, but it doesn't matter. We can see, so <laughs> I don't even know what I hit it with. I must have hit it with the uh, with the batting with that autograph batting helmet. Chris Archer, that's one with the black writing. So again, the black, the red. Uh, they're going to be you're going to find them kind of throughout here, but they're not generally numbered. 
occasionally. So I didn't remember, because I'm silly, I didn't remember to watch uh, the Futures All-Star game today, but I did see after the fact that Hunter Green threw a 102 mile an hour pitch. Woohoo! And then another one of my reds, uh, Trammell was the MVP. How about that? Here is Cespedes. That, of course, is in the orange parallel. And now I think this is too high. I'm going to lower this again. I'm just trying to find the spot where I'm not cutting off the cards. So that's what I get for running into the camera with the either the batting helmet or its box, I suppose. I don't know. I probably hit it with my stupid uh, hat. I have to wear a hat when I do the breaks or my hair gets down in my face when I'm trying to look at the cards. And then I can't see what I'm looking at. So I always have to put a hat on when I'm doing this. And then I forget sometimes and lean down and I've got that on. So I could have uh, whacked into it with that, I suppose. A little Special Forces. Justin Verlander, who... Uh, is expecting a baby with his wife, Kate Upton. They got married, what was it, last year, I guess, huh? And came out this week that they're going to have a baby. Power Zone, those are, if, again, if you see something other than silver, then you would know it was a parallel. When you see just the silver, then we know it is uh, just the regular insert. Let's go ahead and look at our other two base, since there were only two left. And we have Ryder Jones. Ryder Jones for the San Francisco Giants. So what do you think tomorrow night about the Home Run Derby? Who's going to win that thing? I mean, last year I think we all said, yeah, it's going to be Aaron Judge. Like, how many people really thought anybody else would win that? Although, frankly, I was surprised. There were some, there were some like Miguel Sano, for instance hit better than uh, I expected in the home run derby last year. So he had, he had some run for his money there uh, with a couple of those guys. Justin Bauer hit well. But anyway, they're not in it this year. So is everybody feeling okay? Chris says Freddie Freeman's going to win it. Bobby Jones says, uh, says Bryce is going to win it. Who has Bryce come up against in the... I didn't look at the brackets. Who's Bryce up against in the first uh, go-round, Bobby? Is Acuna in the home run derby? I didn't even realize that. I didn't even know he was in there. See? Well, there you go. I haven't been paying good attention, I suppose. I know somebody from the Cubs was in there. Was it Baez? Oh, you know who's in there that I forgot about. Here's a Shohei base. Uh, is Max Muncy, right? For the Dodgers, isn't he in there? Our uh, little surprise rookie for the Dodgers that kind of came, well, I say it came out of nowhere, but I think he was drafted in like 2012 or something. But anyway, he's been playing extremely well. I think he's in there. Oh, Dale, you were probably telling me that Acuna is who Bryce Harper faces first. Probably. I somehow didn't even realize that Kuna was in the Home Run Derby. Where have I been? I don't know. Not paying enough attention, I guess. Oh, no. Bobby says it's Freddie Freeman. So Bryce is going up against uh, Freddie Freeman first. Okay. Well, I could see... Well, really, I could see either one of them winning it. They've both been... Been pretty good with their uh, homers this year, so I could see that going either direction. Here's our first little Stadium Club Chrome, and it is a Med Rosario for the Mets. I forgot about those when I was talking about things we would find in here. I don't usually open a ton of Stadium Club. Generally, um, you know, a couple cases, about like we're doing this year. Old Dream Team Otani for the Angels. 
and a Dream Team Manny Machado. That one is numbered 250 in the Orange Parallel Dream Team. The winner of Muncie and uh, uh, the winner of Muncie and Baez. Yeah, see, I, I kind of like Max Muncie. I I do. I like him. And now, of course, you know Javier Baez and the and the Cubbies. That's uh, he's going to be tough competition. There's no doubt. But I kind of think Max might win that that matchup. I don't know. That's honestly that's who I'm most interested in seeing in it tomorrow night is Max because I just I don't know he's interesting to me okay so the Expos this brings up an interesting point many of you probably know this already but the cards stay with their franchises so in this case the former Montreal Expos are the current Washington Nationals so any Expos cards you see go by will of course be sent to the Nationals the current uh, the name of that franchise uh, you know, after they moved and relocated and moved and relocated being the same thing. I meant after they moved and renamed themselves. Austin Hayes for the Baltimore Orioles. Nice little hit there for Baltimore. So, yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, I think the Home Run Derby will be interesting in a different sort of way than it was last year. Because last year, I mean, we were all just wanting to know, this was a black one, how many we could see uh, Aaron Judge hit out of the place. And this year, of course, a little different. Because he went into that dreadful slump last year after the Home Run Derby, after the All-Star break, I should say. And he partially blamed it on the home run derby and it honestly doesn't that seem like it happens i mean it's not entirely coincidental there have been other players in the past who have taken a dip in production shortly after the all-star break when they have competed in the home run derby so maybe there is something to that so i think that's why he and stanton and well several of the others just took a pass on it this year Garrett Cole for the Astros. That is an orange parallel unnumbered. It's only the orange uh, in the inserts that are numbered. The orange in our regular base cards are not numbered. You probably knew that already, but just in case you did not. A little extra information there for you. Ah, here's our other autograph hit. Both times it managed to hold out until almost... The end, didn't it? It is Garrett Cooper for the Miami Marlins. So I guess um, my Reds have some people not starting lineup, but we've got we managed to get three people selected anyway to the All Star team, not starting, but. Which, considering how badly we were playing at the early the early part of the year, that's it's pretty good. Of course, we've been playing much better ever since uh, they fired our GM. And after we fired our manager, then Riggleman took over, and really nothing much changed. Got a couple people back from injury, picked up Matt Harvey, whatnot. But anyway, playing better, so we'll take it anyway. Other than that, ooh, that butt kicking we got the other night from the Indians where they put up, what was that, something stupid, like 17 runs or 19 runs. I mean, it was just awful. It was like Little League. <laughs> it was just crazy. Dale, who are you saying is a is a nice hit? Who are you uh, talking about there? Maybe are you talking about the Garrett Cooper that came out last for the Marlins? 
don't remember who had the Marlins tonight. Yeah, I don't remember. Did I don't know who had them tonight though, Dale? I mean, somebody does, but I don't know who. Yeah, everything in Stadium Club found a home tonight, of course. It was only our autographed batting helmet uh, in the earlier break that had a few little orphans in it, but no orphans in Stadium Club. Nice little Sandy Koufax red parallel for the Dodgers. Special Forces, Jose Altuve. And a Chrome, and it's Victor for the Nationals. I always like the Stadium Club Chromes. They're not quite as chromey <laughs> as regular Bowman Chrome or Topps Chrome. Like the cards are different a little bit, but yet still cool. So, um, no, somebody has the Marlins tonight. Yeah, Dale, definitely somebody has the Marlins tonight. I mean, somebody has all the te all the teams in Stadium Club sold tonight. I don't know who has it because I don't remember who had what in here, but somebody has it. Max Freed next out for the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta, Atlanta. Yeah, definitely no uh, no orphans this evening in this break. Of course, I can put this uh, spreadsheet up there again in a minute if you need to. To verify something on it, Dale, I just don't like to do it, obviously, when I've got open packs and open cards on the table. That's not ideal. I normally don't even switch off of it when there are unopened stuff uh, on the table once a case or something is opened. But I can certainly uh, take a look at it myself and tell you what it says, and then I can put it up there again after the break if that's helpful for you. So we'll check that out uh, for Dale in a in a moment there. Dream Team Joey Votto started to set it aside, but it's not numbered. Just habit sometimes. There's a Dream Team Carlos Correa. That, of course, a red parallel, not numbered, um, but because it's an insert and a red parallel, we'll we'll stop and take a better look at it there for a second. Another power zone. Oh, but that's Shohei. Shohei Otani power zone. Another red. And we just keep finding this other one, like two cards from the last thing, don't we? Isn't that weird? <laughs> like every box, it's two cards from the bottom. This is Alex Wood for the Dodgers. Now let's go here and take a look. I'll leave you here, but let me look at the let me look at the Marlins so I can answer this question here for Dale. In Stadium Club, the Marlins, J uh, I'm gonna call this J Clewan. <laughs> that's so wrong. Um, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. Maybe it's J C Lee One. Maybe it's that J C Lee One. It's all one it's all one word, whatever it is, but um I'm pretty sure that I butchered it. I'm pretty sure that whoever shoots her name that is is just cringing somewhere like, no, you did not get even close. But anyway, that is who had the Marlins to answer to answer your question, Dale. That's who's got them in Stadium Club here tonight. Weird thing happened with PayPal today. Actually, it happened last night, and then I got it figured out today with some help. Um, but it looked like last night that somebody had opened some cases on PayPal, and I thought, man, that's so weird. This is someone that bids with me all the time, and 
it just doesn't make sense to me that, that they would have opened these cases and whatever. But it was late, of course, when we finished the break. I thought, eh, I can't deal with it. <laughs> so I dealt with it today, and I called PayPal. And Well, first I emailed the bidder and said, hey, did you? is there a problem with these transactions? Did you open these cases? Can you tell me what's going on? Well, they hadn't opened the cases, and they didn't know what was going on. So I called PayPal. I'm like, PayPal, what up, man? You've taken my money for these transactions, and... They're here in open cases, but my buyer says he didn't open the cases. So they're, they look at it, and they're like, yeah, well, I don't think your buyer opened them. Like, okay, well, then why are they open? <laughs> why have you taken this money away from me? Well, you know, we're going to have you already shipped it. I was like, no, you it opened 10 minutes after the thing was purchased. You know, no, it hasn't shipped. Plus, there was another one from the night before, but or maybe two nights before. But anyway, it's like, no, hasn't shipped yet. <laughs> and so, so I'm like, but I don't understand. If, you, if he didn't open the case, what is going on? So basically, he just ended up telling me that the buyer had to call PayPal. So I had to contact the bidder who did contact PayPal. And then apparently, they made him like call back or something either they made him call back or they called him back anyway they wouldn't do it in just one phone call there's a little special forces verlander and so he had to deal with that and finally whatever he told them apparently then they closed the case and gave me put the money back in my account but I never could figure out why or how the case was opened. Because they even PayPal said the bidder didn't open it. And then he apparently tried to bid on some things tonight. And said that he couldn't bid. That it wouldn't let him bid. But I mean I didn't block him or do anything in the settings or do anything. Because I was trying to figure out what was going on. And obviously, it's not anything he did. So something strange is going on with PayPal is the moral of that story. And I don't know what it is, but has anybody else had any PayPal weirdness in the last 24 hours? Here is AJ Mentor for the Atlanta Braves. And I'm going to tell you something else that's weird. And this is really weird. <laughs> so I am looking today for a package that was supposed to have come from Amazon. I'm sure you guys all know how Amazon Prime works and it's two day and they even deliver on the weekends and yada, yada, yada. So tracking says that my package is delivered, that it was left at the porch, but I have no package. Okay, weird. So I call Amazon. They said, well, we don't know. We can't tell anything about it. You know, nobody's at the post office, etc. Okay, fine. You know, whatever. It's Amazon. You know, they'll take care of it. So then I'm talking to my mother and telling her about it. And she says, well, somebody in my neighborhood, they have this thing called Next Door. I don't know if you guys are part of that or not, but it's an online community for neighbors and things. And they you can post things and whatever. Interact with your neighbors. Victor Caratini for the Cubbies. And that's also on a hollow foil. So she said, one of my neighbors posted today the same thing. That on Saturday, she got a notice that a package had been delivered, but she got no package. And she was wondering, had it happened to anybody else? Did somebody steal it? You know, which is what I thought maybe happened to mine, like a porch pirate got it. And uh, so this happened. My mom lives, I don't know, three or four miles away from me. So I'm thinking, well, that's weird. That's two, both on Saturday. Then, right before the break, I get... A message from a bidder who says, I have a notice that popped up on my phone that said, you know, I have a package that was delivered, but I don't have any package. Also Saturday. So well, isn't that kind of bizarre? Because that's a whole other state. Dwight Gooden and the Mets. That's in the Chrome. So I don't know if the post office is having some kind of a glitch or if somebody's just rolling around the neighborhoods uh, stealing packages off of porches or what in the heck is going on 
So my bidder, um, I, you know, suggested he call the post office first thing Monday morning and hopefully can find his carrier who would be able to tell him my carrier, my regular carrier, probably could have told me, except, hello, he's on vacation. What a drag. So I don't know what's up with that, but usually when it says delivered, that's like a manual scan. Like somebody has to manually scan that as delivered. But something, something hinky seems to be going on with it. So if anybody else had that happen on Saturday, I'd be curious to know. And I wouldn't really have thought that much of it had it just been my Amazon package. But then after talking to my mother and seeing the message from the bidder, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. These are all eerily similar. So the next break of this, which is what, guys? Tuesday night, I think? Yeah, I think it's Tuesday, is the last of the stadium club. So what we're breaking tonight and then the back half of this case and we will be finished up with Stadium Club. We do still have Inception though. Even beyond what is currently listed, I think I still have another case or two of Inception hanging around here. I would typically break about 10 cases of that most of the time. And then, of course, we've got Alan and Ginter coming Wednesday and uh, Optic both coming Wednesday. Alan and Ginter, if you're interested in any of the non-baseball stuff, I do have separate bidding categories for a lot of things. Because, you know, there are definitely people who just like the inserts out of Ginter or, you know, set builders who are looking for the inserts and that sort of thing. So there are definitely more categories than just our standard 30 baseball teams. I typically will put those at the end of the break. So they would start uh, after the Nationals would end. You would start seeing the separate categories. So just as an FYI, in case you're chasing uh, celebrity autographs or relics or some of the inserts or minis or whatever. Of course, any of the baseball players are going to go to their respective teams like normal. But if we all know, of course, that Genter is a very diverse product. So we're not limited to just our baseball players in Genter. We got all kinds of fun stuff to find in there. Hopefully with some rip cards. Well, there will be, but hopefully with some good rip cards. Miguel Gomez and the Giants. What do you guys do if you get a rip card, personally? Like your own, or you get it in a break or whatever. Do you rip it, or do you leave it? I would be super tempted to rip it. That's a hollow foil of Ender. Yeah, I would want very much to rip it, and I know you're probably kind of not supposed to. I mean, there's not really, I guess, a supposed to or not supposed to, but value-wise, I think it's probably worth more if you don't rip it most of the time. But I definitely would be so tempted because I <laughs> want to know what's in there. Jose Barrios for the Twins. It would be one of those things I would probably manage to leave it unripped for a long time. But then somewhere along the way, somewhere before I checked out uh, for good, like I would be, you know, 90 in my, sitting in my rocking chair or something. Bring me that rip card. Whoosh, there it would go. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just wouldn't be able to let it sit there unripped forever, I don't think. At some point it would get the better of me. But I do like pulling them. They're a lot of fun to pull anyway. That is a Walker Bueller 
chrome, stadium chrome to be specific, or the Dodgers. Chris says he leaves them. I think that's probably what most people do. Again, that's kind of the, the correct way to do it, I believe, but I feel like it would just haunt me. Like, I think I would be laying in bed at night and hear that card calling to me. <laughs> it's just like, what's inside? <laughs> Come find out. <laughs> like a Friday the 13th movie or something. <laughs> the card is calling to me in the darkness. <laughs> But it's an awesome idea. Love to know who came up with that originally. Like who's just sitting around one day going, hey, let's take a card with another card inside and then see how many they rip and how many they leave. Well, many of you know that I'm a tennis fan. I didn't do very well in my Wimbledon uh, finals, unfortunately. Of course, I wanted Serena to win. She ended up uh, runner-up to Angelique Kerber. She had played an awesome tournament, an unbelievable tournament, considering how long she's been out and everything she went through to even get to the finals. But then, I don't know, pressure got to her. Something happened. She didn't play well at all in the finals, but still an amazing accomplishment to have gotten there. And you know what? Just a step in the road, right? She'll be back and she'll win some more. But then on the men's side, I really wanted it to be Rafa and Federer, and they both got beat before they even got to the finals. So, that was kind of a drag. I don't really follow uh, soccer, but I did see the headline that uh, France beat Croatia in the World Cup, which I guess was, uh, I don't know if that was really, I don't think you could really call that a surprise, right? But I don't really watch soccer. I know, it's like everybody should watch the World Cup, I know, but I didn't. I admit it, I didn't. I told you, I didn't even get the Future Stars uh, watch today. Usually Sundays we try to, you know, Sundays are more, a little more relaxing family kind of stuff maybe than through the week. Jimmy Scherfe for the D-backs. And here's a little, um, I start to say green. Oh my. That's <laughs> a little orange. Edwin, Edwin Incarnation for the Indians. Like, how can you see orange? I mean, see green and say orange. Look at that. I almost had it backwards again. I think maybe the heat fried my brain. It's really, I guess, more the humidity than the heat, but man, you can step outside and then you don't even have to do anything. Like 60 seconds later, you are dripping sweat. It's crazy hot out there. My Cincinnati Reds have themselves a little hit here with Mella. Always like to see the Reds pull out something because that means I get a chance to ooh and ah over it for a minute before it goes to its new home. Here's another Otani insert, never compromise. Too bad, too, too bad that he couldn't have uh, stayed healthy all season and been pitching in the All-Star game. That would have been nice. So Mookie Betts had a nice uh, Grand Slam walk-off. That was crazy, wasn't it? I mean, that's like a Grand Slam, okay, number one. 
if that were me, I were the one playing ball and I hit a grand slam, I'd be so excited I probably wouldn't even remember rounding the bases. But then a grand slam walk off at that. It's like, man, that's nice. Seems like there's been a lot of grand slams this month, doesn't it? In the month of July, it feels like that we've had, oh gosh, that we have had an inordinate number of grand slams. I managed to hit the camera yet again, knock it over, and then shoot it up to the sky. It is like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, isn't it? Clearly, I have it sitting in a slightly different place tonight, seeing as how I've managed to now knock into it twice this evening. I obviously, somehow or another, have it sitting slightly off from where it normally does, because uh, apparently I'm going to hit it all night long. Ah, well, we needed to wake you up anyway, right? <laughs> nothing, nothing like a little motion sickness to wake you up. Ginter is always a lot of fun to open, but I do kind of dread the fact that it has so many base cards, but I do like the series a lot. I kind of dig that they have all the extra non-baseball stuff in there. Some people don't like that, and as a result, don't really buy a lot of Allen and Ginter, but I think it's fun to break. I think it's fun to open. Usually get some pretty cool hits out of it. So we have, I don't know, I think I probably bought bringing in, well, I'll find out for sure tomorrow, but I think I've got maybe four or five cases of it coming, four or five, six cases, something like that. Not as much optic, maybe three, four cases of optic. But actually, I love optic in all sports. You probably know this about me because I ooh and ah over it in football and basketball every year. I, I, it's, I mean, it's more or less the equivalent of Topps Chrome. You know, Panini's optic is basically the equivalent of. So I always very much look forward to seeing optic come out. And I can break it in full cases. So yeah, there's a decent amount of cards in it. But there's not so many that you can't do a full case break. Whereas like Stadium Club and Allen and Genter, eh. Kind of. I mean, you can do it as a full case. But it would just take a really long time. A really long time to do the break. And, an, and a really long time to sort it and ship it. So... There's a Never Compromise uh, Smoltz for the Braves, and that, of course, is a red parallel, I believe. A little different than our base insert. And here comes, who is this? Ah, oh, Thomas Nito for the Mets. Isn't it always kind of interesting in Stadium Club that you tend to pull often a different autograph set? I mean, you pull players more in Stadium Club that you don't pull as much in other products. Players like Thomas Nitto, for instance. You know, most of the products you'd be more likely to pull a Med Rosario. But yet, Stadium Club, I mean, they have the good rookies in here, too. I mean, we've pulled Ozzy out of here, and we've pulled some really nice stuff. But you also have a lot of players that don't show up as, as often in some of the other Topps products. So it's kind of unique in that sense. As well as, of course, the photography is the 
big selling point of Stadium Club, obviously. Just saw that shot of that guy climbing the wall on the card. Did you see the highlight of Billy Hamilton? I mean, man. Uh, to say that he robbed them of a home run, Matt Carpenter, to say he robbed Matt Carpenter of a home run would be an understatement. I mean, the guy literally, like, climbing the wall, hanging over off the wall, practically manages to jump up there and grab that ball and hang on to it. It was incredible. It was an amazing catch. It was so awesome. Troy Scribner for, Troy Scribner for the Angels. So the Angels do get an autograph hit in here, but it might not have been the one they were hoping for. But we do still have a box to go, so it could still turn up yet. Don't give up the faith yet. So last box mojo. Let's hope we find uh, something fabulous in here. Had to get a little drink there, sorry. And you know what I'm drinking, then you'll crack up. <laughs> I grabbed a high C out of the refrigerator. <laughs> When's the last time you had high C fruit punch, huh? Well, for me, it was right now, because I just grabbed a little one out of the refrigerator on my way uh, up here to do the break tonight. Yeah, well, that's all right. Nobody will miss it. I'll tell you what else I haven't had in a long time that I would like to have is an Icy. Do you guys remember Icy? I'm sure you do. I think they, I mean, they still make Icy. It's just not that many places uh, have it. It's basically just ice, shaved ice with a big old gloppy bunch of sugary flavored colored flavored stuff squirted on top of it <laughs> but ices are kind of awesome similar to slurpees I don't know how I, well, I do know how I got off on that because of the high C. I had, to, I had to work my way back through that mentally. How did I end up there? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we are on the last box. And let's hope for a big bombs away. Or two big bombs away as far as that goes. No reason to limit ourselves. Let's assume that both of our last hits can be tremendous. Here's an orange parallel uh, Nico Goodrum for the Tigers. And of course I will recap the hits when we finish up the break here. Did we look at, yeah we did look at those already. So if you missed any part of it, uh, or you have fast forwarded yourself uh, to the end, there's a Chrome Varios. Know that the recap is coming up here momentarily. And then of course after we do the recap, I will put up the spreadsheet information one more time for anybody who might have missed that and wants to See info about your projected shipping date and all that jazz. That'll go up next. Oh, Big Red. For real. Yeah, man. Chris says um, Chris says his wife is from Louisville and she misses Big Red on the fountain machine. Oh, wow. I hadn't thought about Big Red in forever. <laughs> yeah, isn't it funny the things you think about from... When you were growing up or whatever. Look who we were talking about earlier. And now he's going to come out and play. I'm liking this last box already. It's Ozzy for the Braves. Nice hit Braves with your uh, Ozzy rookie on card autograph there. 
I'll tell you something else from when I was growing up. This will date me for sure. Well, not like I haven't done that a million times already, but this is Jackson Stevens for my Cincinnati Reds. When I was in grade school, we used to have this little store right on the corner where our grade school was. I mean, literally like at the edge of the parking lot. And it was a tiny little store. I mean, you could barely even turn around and it's almost the size of like a storage shed, basically. And it only had like chips and candy and soda in it. So, of course, it's right at the edge of the grade school. <laughs> and it's before, you know, these days, oh, no, you would never have something like that. But back then, there's no big deal. <laughs> and so we would run up there. You'd go up there before class or we're, you know, at the end of the day, whatever. It was called Turpins. We'd run up to Turpins and get, you know, load ourselves up on sugar, which I'm sure our teachers loved and whatever. And in the vending machine up there, they had a, a soda called Kickapoo Joy Juice. <laughs> and if you guys have ever heard of Kickapoo Joy Juice, yeah, that is something when I was in grade school that we used to go up there and get all the time. It's kind of like a little bit like Mountain Dew. But anyway, yeah, Kickapoo Joy Juice. So that and Big Red and Icy's and Slurpees and all that stuff. All fond memories. Let's recap our hits from tonight. We have Jackson Stevens for my Cincinnati Reds. Here's pretty little Ozzy Albies. He really did come out in our last box mojo. And then we have uh, Troy Scribner for the Angels. Thomas Nito for the Mets. Another hit for my Reds with Mella. The D-backs hit with Sherfy. Jose Barrios is out for the Twins. Miguel Gomez up next, Victor Caratini on a hollow foil, A.J. Mentor, Braves with another one, Alex Wood for the Dodgers, Max Freed, Braves again, Garrett Cooper for the Marlins, Austin Hayes for the Orioles, Ryder Jones, and Anthony Santander wrap us up for tonight. So those are our autograph hits that we managed to pull out of this half a stadium club and boy i do have the camera like all crooked from where i hit it not once but twice tonight <laughs> i'm so sorry about that guys one of those nights so let's get our spreadsheet uh up here one final time for anybody who might have missed it earlier um yeah so there we go projected shipping date if you happen to be the the lucky winner of the autograph bat batting helmet Look for that to go out on Friday if you are in Stadium Club. Wednesdays when I think I can get it out to you. And if I'm lucky enough to get it on the way faster, so much the better. And of course, consolation cards apply to those who were in the batting helmet. Don't have to worry about them at all for Stadium Club because everybody pulled cards in Stadium Club. Massive amount of cards came out of there. And we will now take one more uh, little look here at the stuff that is already up on eBay that will be breaking over the next five days. So, of course, you know, there's going to be memorabilia mixed in. Not as much in the upcoming week as maybe we normally do just because there's so many uh, cases to break through. But there's still plenty in there. So tomorrow night will be a half, a half case of Archive Signature Series. Please remember those are loose boxes. That's how they came to me. A full case of Inception Baseball, a half case of Gold Standard, which will be the start of a new 12-box case, and a full case of Valiant Football. So tomorrow night's going to be really busy. Tuesday night, a uh, little memorabilia, mini helmet, autograph, football, jersey, a couple boxes of 2014 Translucent, a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, and the back half of this Stadium Club baseball that we opened tonight. The back half of that case will be Tuesday night. On Wednesday, Spectra, Allen & Genter, and Donruss Optic all come out on Wednesday. We will open two of those Wednesday night. A full case of Spectra and a half case of Allen & Genter. On Thursday, we'll open an, an autographed full-size football helmet, a second case of Spectra, and a full case of Optic Baseball. On Friday, we'll open the back half of the gold standard case that we start uh, earlier in the week and is it tomorrow night that we start that? I've already forgotten. <laughs> Let's go back and look. Is it tomorrow night? Yeah, okay. 
So on Friday night, we'll open the back end of the gold standard case that we will start tomorrow night. We'll also open uh, a case of encased basketball, and we'll do the back half of the Allen and Genter case that we start on Wednesday night. We'll finish it up on Friday night. And that is pretty much it. I guess I could put this up one more time because I know somebody had a question about this a minute ago. So there's our batting helmet info. Um, I've already forgotten who our batting helmet was. It was the Giants. It was the Giants that won. So right there, uh, that's, that's the winner of our batting helmet this evening. And then here's our Stadium Club spreadsheet one final time. If anybody missed that, you can refresh your memory on uh, which teams you had in here tonight. And that has got me locked and loaded for this evening. So once again, thanks everyone for participating. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have an awesome start to your week tomorrow. We'll be back at it tomorrow night. And uh, until I see you then, until I see you next, uh, take care. Enjoy your week. Bye now.